Well, this week, Governor DeSantis said he wants the Republican-controlled state legislature to okay a slate of amendments to the U.S. Constitution that include congressional term limits and requiring a balanced federal budget. He also wants a new constitutional convention to consider revising the nation's founding document. The last constitutional convention was held in 1787. The Florida legislature is going to be certifying uh, a series of amendments, constitutional reforms under Article 5 of the Constitution uh, that will rein Washington in and that will hold Washington accountable. 28 states have already signed on to the idea of holding a brand new constitutional convention. Only six more states are needed to make it happen. So, Hunter, do we need a new constitutional convention? I think it's a really interesting way of going about things, and I think it's, it's going to create a new form of ways for states to actually keep the federal government accountable, especially after seeing what the, the federal government is doing with Texas. Um, I see the convention allowing us as states and as a people to be able to go and stand up to the federal government and keep power to the people. Um, I mean, this, this is mainly just talking about term limits, well, at least for what DeSantis is pushing, uh, is term limits, a balanced budget, uh, line item vetoes, and equal law for public and Congress. Term limits is something that has been going up and down Congress for decades, and it never gets passed because it's a conflict of interest for those who are going to want to be career politicians. One of the main issues, especially on the youth side, is we talk about age, and age has always been a problem in the sense of why do we have, for example, the two presidential candidates they're both above 75. A lot of the youth and the majority of the country is wondering, are we supposed to be continue being led by people who are in their 70s? And it's a concern. So now you have someone going in and saying, hey, term limits. You can't be in here forever and continue to impose forever. They don't yeah. believe in the Nancy Pelosi doctrines, the Maxine Waters doctrines, the, the Mitch McConnell doctrines, where they're there for decades and decades and decades. Article 5 in the U.S. Constitution governs um, the amendment process. There's seven articles, 27 amendments. Article 5 tells us the two formal ways of amending the Constitution. The informal way, of course, is the Supreme Court. Now, yes, 28 states have said we want a constitutional convention, but 23 are Democrats and 11 states are up in 20. 24. So the probable path of this second formal way of amending is, is not great. But the other real danger is that we may need to deal with term limits. We may need to deal with things that the voters want to, uh, to look at. But Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution is silent to the rules of how a constitutional convention can go. So the minute that you call one, and we actually have enough states, you need 34 states to get it, you then open it up to the radicals of both parties. And that is a very problematic issue because there's no governing authority to tell the Constitutional Convention to stop. And it affords a very vulnerable Constitution where we have our civil liberties protected to a place where you might have individuals making decisions that were never intended. A dangerous can of worms, you say. Yes. Yeah. But the, see, that's the thing right there that we're, we're arguing about whether or not how it should be governed worth versus whether it should exist or whether it should go. Two totally different issues. The fact of the matter is this gives another way for the states and the peoples of these states to not be. Okay, uh, Deborah, what, what's your take? Good idea? Well, the National Federation of Republican Women, Florida Federation, for a long time, we've looked at perhaps a single issue. But once you throw a myriad of issues in, it, you're going to create chaos. So we were for a single issue, maybe the keep nine uh, so that we don't dilute and have all these, you know, politicization of the uh, Supreme Court. And not a rewrite of the whole Constitution. Not rewrite, yeah. no. Okay.